Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to find duplicate records and delete them. There's lots of different ways to find duplicate records. In fact, I've got a couple of different videos myself. In this one, for example, I show you how to highlight them with conditional formatting. That's one way to do it. But there's a little known trick you can do. It's a little wizard called the Find Duplicates Wizard, and it's a nice, easy, fast way to locate duplicate records in one table. And then I'll show you my trick for deleting them in bulk. Now, before we get started, before deleting anything, make sure you back up your database. Back it up. I don't want to hear any complaints that, oh, I did this, what Rick said, and I deleted them. No, no, back it up right now, every night. If you don't know how to back up your database, go watch this. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. And one thing I'm going to say up front is that deduplicating your database, finding and removing duplicate records, is more of an art than a science. Uh, there's so many nuances to this. I spend many, many, many hours of my lessons covering topics related to this, and I'll give you some links at the end of the class. But there's no easy one way to get rid of duplicate records. For example, let's take a look at the customer table here. All right, let's say you've got, you know, you got your customers and you got people adding more stuff. So let's say another person adds in Alex Lifeson. Maybe he's got multiple addresses, right? Alex2.lifeson at Amicron.com, okay? And that's gonna be sometimes easy to find because first and last name. What if it's Joe Smith though? They might have 15 Joe Smiths in here and they're all valid different customers. All right, you got Mr. Spock up here, but someone might come in here and put Mr. Spock. Very hard to find that, okay? So there's some tricks we can play. There's some things we can do. Uh, you can look at multiple fields if you want to. Maybe you want to look at a combination of first name, last name, and state. And that's a good way to catch if these are duplicate values. But let me just put a couple of simple duplicates in here. I'll put another Jane Cobb. And I'll duplicate myself too. Richard Ross. And see, I almost typed in Rick, right? You could Rick, Richard, Dick, okay? <laughs> Jim Kirk as opposed to James Kirk. All right, but to keep things easy, I'll make this James too. I'm pretty sure he's James up top here. Yeah, he is. Okay. All right. So let's try to find the duplicate values. Let's just look at first name only right now. All right, so I'm going to close the table. All right, we're going to go to create query wizard. I don't use a lot of wizards, but this is one of them. I like the find duplicates wizard. It's a nice, easy wizard to use. All right, hit okay. And it does something. It makes it easier for beginners to find duplicates without having to know any SQL. All right, what table are you looking in? The customer table. What field might contain duplicate information? Just start with one field for now. We'll just do first name. Double click on it, bring it over here. Next, what other fields do you want to see in, in addition to that field you're checking for duplicates? Because it gives you a little more context, right? Maybe you want to see the customer ID, the last name, the email address, the state. All right, so you can, you can tell who this is, if it's totally a different person or not. All right, next. What name do you want to give it? That's fine. We're going to kill it anyways. It's not a valid name. Okay, so here is your query. Now, keep in mind, this is a live query. This is live data. So if you want to, you can go down this list and prune it manually, and you will have to do this sometimes. Okay, like just looking at it here. Okay, this is the same Alex Lifeson. We got two records for him. I can delete that one and just select it and delete it. Okay, and you're going to have to do that from time to time. A lot of times you'll say, okay, I got three misters here. There's a Mr. Data, Mr. Warp, Mr. Spock. Those are fine. Okay. And this is where it becomes handy to do this with two fields, two or more fields sometimes. All right. And again, it's not perfect. Let's delete this one. All right. Go back into the query wizard. Find duplicates. Customer. This time we're going to bring in first name and last name. Next. What other related information do you want to see? Okay, we'll do that and that and bring in their state. Next and finish. Okay, now it's checking for duplicates on both of those fields together. They have to match, right? First name and last name have to match for it to be duplicate. Now this shows you definitely, you know, a better circumstance here of which ones are duplicated. Okay. And again, at this point, you know, if you got a small set of records, it might behoove you to go through and delete them manually. If you've got tens of thousands of records and you're sure they're duplicates, I'm going to show you my trick for, for getting rid of them all. This, th you'd only do this in a situation where maybe, you know, you've got your main customer table 
Uh, you go to a trade show, you import a bunch of records, and then maybe you accidentally import the same records twice, okay? Um, and you haven't set something like, like I recommend setting fields like email address as a, uh, not, not necessarily a primary key, but definitely as a key field and you index it in no duplicates. All right, but let's say you haven't done that, okay? And let's say you know you just accidentally imported the same records twice. You got a whole bunch of duplicate first names and last names. Okay, how can we prevent that? How can we go now and prune all of those duplicated first names and last names out? Well, let me show you how to do it first with just one field. Let's say you've got email address and you've imported all these records. I'm going to copy and paste these email addresses. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. See, this is what you should have. I've got email address set up in my table as no duplicate values, and that would prevent this problem. But let's say hypothetically you didn't do that. So I'm going to go in the customer table. I'm going to go to the email address field. See, it's set, it's set to yes, no duplicates. So just set that to no for now. So now I can have duplicated email addresses. Okay, so let's just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay. All right, now I go to a trade show. I accidentally import the same data twice. All right, I do a find duplicates record. There they are. Now I need to go through, I've got 20,000 of these. I don't want to do them by hand. How can I get rid of the duplicated email addresses? Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to take customer T, we're going to copy it, control C, and then paste it, control V, and paste the structure only. Structure only. So now I've got a copy of my customer table right here. Okay, it's empty though. All right, now in this table, go to your email field, and set this to indexed no duplicates. Save it, close it. Now we're gonna make an append query to copy the records from this table to that table. All right, if you've never done an append query before, pause the video now and go watch this guy. That'll teach you all about append queries. All right, but now I can go to create, query design. I'm going to bring in records from my customer table and I'm going to append them into the copy of customer table. Don't worry about the name. We're going to change it in a minute. Hit OK. All right, bring down the star. It'll copy over all the fields and then run it. You'll get this message up. It says it can't, can't append all the records. All right, right here it says didn't add three records due to key violations. That means three records violated your key rules, you got three duplicates, which is what we expected, right? We had three records with the same email address. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah, go ahead, finish it up. And now if you open up copy of customer T, there they are, and you'll notice you don't have any duplicate records in here. Okay, now that works fine if you've got one field that you can do that with. But what if you got that two field situation going on? Well, let me delete this guy. Well, uh, let, me, let me back up a step. Right now, what you do, if you're happy with those results, delete your customer table and then just rename this guy customer T. And as long as you don't have global relationships, you can get away with that. I almost never use global relationships. So you can copy and rename these tables and all that stuff. If you do have global system relationships, you'll have to delete those and recreate them again. It's a pain in the butt. One of the reasons I don't use them. All right, but let's get rid of this guy again. Delete. Okay. And let's say here's we got our find duplicates again. Remember, the original customer T hasn't changed. All right, let's ignore the fact that we got the email address in here. Let's just say we imported a bunch of names. And you got to do it based on first name and last name. You want to make sure those two fields are unique in your new table. Okay. So what you can do is you can set up something called a composite key. That's where you make a key with no duplicates based on multiple fields. All right, and in, in this video, I teach you about composite keys. I show you how to set them up to prevent this problem from happening in the first place. Because if you have your table set up like this with the proper composite keys, then you can't import these records that are duplicates this way. All right, if you want to have a unique first name, last name, state, or first name, last name, street address, or whatever. Okay, so what we'll do now is, again, we'll copy the customer table, copy, paste, structure only, hit OK. We're going to come into the design of this guy. Now, this time, we can't just set a key for one field. We have to go up here to indexes, and we're going to set up a composite key. All right, we'll just call it my key or whatever you want to call it. All right, you put the fields in here, first name, last name, 
And right here, you say unique is yes. That makes that this combination of fields has to be unique. You can't have two records in the database with the same first name and last name. Again, go watch the composite key video for more information. Okay, save this. Now let's make that query again. Create, query design, bring in records from customer T, append them into copy of customer T, bring down that star, run it, same thing happens. Three records due to key violations because you got three people who have the same first name and last name. And of course, first name and last name, you know, you're going to pick whatever fields you want to make sure that they're better unique. All right, go ahead and do it. There you go. Close that. Close this. Don't have to save it unless you plan on doing it again, which you shouldn't. You can delete that guy. And now we will delete our old customer T. Right click, delete. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah, okay, fine. Goodbye. And then we'll rename this guy to just customer T. And there you go. There's all your customers that have been cleaned for the most part. And like I said, I mean, depending on the state of your data, this is not an easy procedure. This could take hours for you to properly go through and dedupe your database. If you want to learn more in Access Expert Level 18, I talk about the Find Duplicates query in more detail, and we go through some other stuff too, like Find Unmatched queries. We go through some advanced query stuff. All right, lots to do with queries in this one. And then if you really want to get serious about this deleting duplicate data stuff, I have a whole section on scrubbing data. No, it's, scrubbing doesn't mean like get rid of it, scrub it. It means like, scr like cleaning your tables out, like scrubbing them with a sponge. <laughs> we go through a lot of different stuff with how to make sure you've got your table set up properly. We'll use record sets and all kinds of cool stuff. So there you go. Hope that gives you some insight into how to find and delete duplicate data in your database. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters.
Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.